Welcome back to the Bible Reading Project. It is Thursday. Thursday. Thanksgiving. Yes, this is awesome. On Thanksgiving Day, we're reading from Revelation chapter 8 on the world coming to an end. <laughs> There's nothing I'm better so to thankful. give thanks for. We, I, you know, I've been thinking we just might need to quit the book of Revelation. It's just getting too <laughs> thick, too dirty, too hard to talk about and be cheerful. But remember what we said. If we just read it, we'll we're blessed. blessed. Have you seen a blessing since you've started reading it? Yeah, I have. Give me something that's happened. Um, I have a piece about the future. Okay. Uh, I think that's a blessing. Yes. Um, my mom is here. Yes, that's a blessing. She's going to bake me she's banana been in, bread. She's been in town the whole time making yeah. you banana bread. And yeah. this has been our kind of logo for yeah. the week. <laughs> and such a sweet lady. KD is. is what I call her. Yeah. Did you have a nickname growing up? Did I have a nickname? Mm -hmm. Um, no, not really. Just Ryan. Just Ryan. Yeah. That is a boring life. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> called you anything. Nobody said, yo. Some people called me Holdeman. I mean, yeah. I'm, I got to get you a nickname. I'm going to get you what? Rhino. Rhino. Did people so, call you Rhino? When I was older, like in, like in my 20s, not as a kid. Okay. So what was your preferred method of discipline as a kid? What Did you get spanked? Did you get grounded? Did you get sent to the room? Did you get? We didn't have cell phones really back then. To take I think my mom phone. would say that I disciplined myself for it. Really, and I would go to my room. You would just, just go to your room. What would you do in your room when you were in trouble? Just sleep. Ooh, that doesn't sound like you're in trouble. <laughs> so let me ask you a question: What did you get in trouble for the most? Mm. Did you, your mouth. Your yeah, mobility. probably talking back. You talk back. Yeah. You did really mm -hmm. like to your sweet mom. Mm -hmm. You would say mean stuff. <laughs> And not she's mean, sitting not here. necessarily mean, just disrespectful. Well, she, oh, <laughs> and look how sweet. She's out there smiling, nodding, yeah. because she hung in there with you when nobody else would. Right. When other people would have said, give him up for adoption. <laughs> right. Not your mom. Not my mom. She, she loved stayed you with me. Yeah. And stayed with you. Is making you meatloaf for me mm -hmm. and banana bread for you. Yep. And we're excited. And we have been reminiscing with mom mm -hmm. and uh, going some pictures. Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, that's Chris Goss's wedding. That's the real wedding. That's we the had the wedding. Fake one, yeah, and that's Matt. That's that Nessa's Matt. husband. So yep. Nessa's actually got a husband. Yep, there he is. He looks like a woman, though. Sort of. <laughs> I mean, look at his hair. Yeah, look at, that's crazy. We almost put him on the bridesmaid side. That would be sweet. Yeah. But I like him with long hair. He's yeah. still got long hair today. Mm -hmm. He's a little more meaty and beefy. She's been yeah. feeding him well, <laughs> right? But uh, so that was Chris Goss's wedding. You were just a best man in the wedding. Uh, not the best man, but a groomsman. I think I like this one. I'd like to know what is going on here. <laughs> so this you're is, a bee. I'm a, a bee. A bumblebee. Yeah, because um, we were serving at a conference and the theme was be present. So we're bees with presents. Like what conference are you serving it's at? Catalyst Conference. And they dressed you up like a bumblebee, and mm -hmm. you said yes. Yeah. And so so some some human being came to you and said. I want you to serve at a conference, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. I would do that. I would open doors. I would serve as an usher, whatever mm -hmm. they need. But when they said, I therefore need you to dress up like a bumblebee, yeah. you just said yes to that. Well, it, was kind of, it wasn't like, it was like, oh, show up. And so we showed up and okay. then they said, over here, you can do this and you can do that. And over here we have bee costumes. And so I was like, oh, I'll do the bee costume. So your personality <laughs> chose the bee yeah. costume. They didn't make you wear this. Yeah, right. That's your own choosing. Yep. That's probably why you're still single. <laughs> it's a good possibility. It is a good possibility. And, we ran that, around and, and who's and the girl that had the guts to dress up that's like a Chris bee? Chris Goss's wife, Jenna. Okay, so she's in a lot of live things here. You're yeah. in weddings with we her, were good fake friends. pictures. You're good friends with her. And she dressed up like a bumblebee. This makes me a little nervous. Tell me about this guy. Oh, man, I don't know. Could we just go Just past skip this? that one? Yeah. Okay, this next and final one I think is going to get you a wife. Okay. I'm just going to let it simmer and let mom think about this a minute. There's $200 bounty on your head. Yeah. I bet your brother would kick in a 25 bucks. All right. So 225. Yeah. So we can, we can figure it out for you to get a wife by Christmas. We're about four weeks away. It's getting risky because there's not even a girl in the hunt right now. <laughs> but after they see this one, I uh, almost right. promise. I'm nervous. No, I promise you. If this does not get you a bride, I'm giving up. I already know giving up. this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, is, look at that. that. A woman could have this little kid. Like, this is little baby Ryan's running yeah. around. Who wouldn't want that running around? Yeah. 
Like that little <laughs> clown <laughs> holding your... Look at the smile on your face. Yeah. I just want this to... So, ladies, if you're watching... Let this soak in. You could marry this kid <laughs> and produce maybe something like this. Yeah, maybe. Baby face Ryan, man. Yeah. I'm going for baby face Ryan. I love you. had braces. Yep. I love that. Tell me a little bit about that picture. That's uh, a, You look happy a, there. A yard sale uh, uh-huh. somewhere in the community, like a church or something. Okay. And they needed help. Like now I was out that, on the road. Is that your little crib back there? Yeah, probably. That was your yeah, crib? Yeah, that was That's crib. awesome. You look happy, on the road, though. like, hey, come to the garage sale. I just love that. That's probably my, I think that needs to be like your Instagram photo <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Because that says a lot, right? Yeah. It just, man. <laughs> I, I, I want to right now just offer, ladies, take a moment to pray <laughs> right now. This is the man. Thank you yeah. for showing up. It is Thanksgiving Day. <sighs> it's been a rough week. So rather than just talking about all the terror that's coming, and all the stuff is coming in the book of Revelation and everything that is just, I mean, one third of the earth is gone. There's darkness. There's, there, it's horrible. Yeah. Tell me something you're thankful about. It's Thanksgiving. Mm. So rather than just deep diving down the well of Revelation, um, give me something you're thankful about. I'm thankful for a lot of things. Give me a few. I'm thankful for you. Tell me why. Um, Because uh, you have glasses. Thank you. Yeah. So you can see good. Uh-huh. Thankful that you have a beard. Thank you. Thankful that you have a checkered shirt on today. I feel like you're just making stuff up, but thank you. And I'm thankful that um what I really want to say, I don't say want to it. say it. No, just I'm, say it. It's okay. <laughs> it's the Bible reading project. I teach people to be honest. There's no fake yeah. news here. It's why people tune in. Even Nessa said last week, she said, I like the Bible reading project. Because it's turning into like a podcast show. Yeah, right. She herself even said we're yeah. turned into a show now. Yeah, a it's show. not even about reading the Bible anymore. <laughs> it's just about me and you chatting about the Bible. So somewhere right. it's tanked. Yeah. But she liked it better. Okay. And I've had about 15 other people like it better. Nice. So they like it better without me just reading the Bible, talking. They like it better with us yakking about the Bible. Yeah. And and so tell me what do you want to say? You can say it right here. You've already you've already agreed you're flat earth. You've already agreed yeah. that you back talk your mom. Yep. You already agreed that you treated your brother wrong. Yeah. Uh so you've been very I broke his toe. You broke know. his toe. So just go for it, man. No, but uh I was gonna pick on you, but I won't. Don't do it. You no, can't. I don't want no, to. you really no, can't. I really it's don't Thanksgiving. Want to. People would love to hear you pick on me. <laughs> I'm going to be eating my grandmother's pecan pie. You can say pecan I'll pick or on, pecan. Pecan, of course. Yes, of course. Yeah. So just pick on me. Go ahead. I'll pick on you tomorrow. But on I am Friday. thankful for you. I'm, I'm thankful, thankful for you, too. Thankful that my mom is here. Thankful I am, that too. My dad I love is her. Here. She is, man, that she brought you in this world touches my heart. She did a good job. Did a good job. So thank you. We won't belabor the point today, but thank you for going through this with me. I'm very thankful for you. I'm thankful for your humor. I'm thankful for your passion for Jesus. I'm thankful everybody tunes in that watches, and it's just part of what we do, which is to inspire people. And I don't know if I've told you publicly, but I've made a joke about it. Um, I used to do this in my office on my iPhone, and you said, hey, I got an idea. And this was all your idea, Mm -hmm. sitting down, talking uh, just about Jesus. And uh, I was kind of skeptical at Mm -hmm. first, like, yeah, I don't know. But I've had more people that listen and watch and read their Bible just because we chat about it and just because we're honest about it. And uh, I don't know whether it, quote, officially turned into a show was never my idea, yeah. but thank you, yeah. because I think it is fun. And I think it is enjoyable right. to chat about what the Bible says, to bring questions into it, to hope that people uh, make it part of their daily life right. and make it part of growing up in God and becoming a better Christian. So thank you. Thank all of you. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving to you. We hope you enjoy your family. We hope you enjoy your time. And uh We're honored that you hung in there with us today. Be blessed, and we'll see you tomorrow.